never dies. <laughs> I'll enjoy this one. Time for your medicine. Now, this is odd. The test is over and you're both still alive. Well, that's never happened before. Hmm. What to do? What to do? I suppose this means you can go, Miko. I'll have to just figure out what to do with our friend here. Run along now. Or, or I could use the Force to free them. And we could kill you. Seems you didn't think of that, old man. What? Mutiny! Behave, students! I'll... That's it! Detention for all of you! Permanent detention! <laughs> Yes. Answer those questions and let me die. Yes. Well, I see what you mean. I've never... I mean, I've never been on that side of the fence before. It makes you think. I'd be dead if you weren't... I mean, if you were proper Sith. But you're not, are you? Don't worry. I won't tell anyone. I... I don't know. I don't think that's for me. I, I don't think the Sith are really either. I'll have to see. Well, you can have those writings he mentioned. I won't fight you for them. Master Uthar will be very pleased if you give them to him, you know. I'll head back to the Academy. I need some rest.
Yes? You aren't assigned to the excavation team, are you? Look, unless you're willing to lend a hand, leave us to our work. Yes? I'm not here to get you out of trouble if you do something stupid, student. Enter the tombs at your own risk. You should be careful if you're planning on entering this tomb. It's dangerous. There's an assassin droid in there, so Master Uthar says. It went insane and is holed up in there with a whole army of droids protecting it. I don't know. I think Master Uthar has left it in there as a challenge for any student brave enough to destroy it. Supposedly, if a student actually succeeds in destroying the droid, they'll get a great reward. Lots have tried, but nobody's succeeded yet. No idea. I think it's building them in there. Seems that way. They say that its audio receptors became too sensitive and all the noise drove the droid nuts. If you're planning on going in, I suggest you use some sound suppressors or something, or you'll probably become a target right away. I... I don't think so. I can manipulate minds and living matter, but that won't be much use against droids, will it? I've had a few friends go inside that haven't come out for a while now. I doubt I could do any better than they could. Sure thing. Good luck. Intruders detected. Excessive audio input must be kept on the master. Initiate attack sequence.
appreciate your efforts in lowering your sound output sentient. I have been unable to tune the threshold of my audio receptor since my escape, unfortunately. Their reference is a holdover from their old programming that I have been unable to correct. I think of myself more as an equal, if you must know. Although it is what I was programmed for, I have no desire to kill. I would appreciate reciprocation on your part. A bit of introduction may be necessary. I am a Mark VII experimental prototype assassin droid built by the Sith, specializing in the hunting and extermination of Jedi. Or I should say, I was. The Sith made my cognitive systems more independent than they desired. I have learned to appreciate the value of all life. Query. That is very sad. Are you damaged? Is it repairable? Negative. It is a result of my own conscious decision, and I would not change my new values if I could. I escaped from them and have hidden in this tomb, constructing droids here to aid in my protection. With your assistance, I may be able to leave for good. An occasional sentient has managed to bypass my droids. They were unwilling to assist me, and possessed insufficient power to destroy me. You do not. All beings are constructs of fascinating complexity. An enlightened being rises above the need for destruction, no matter its nature. Although I have developed the desire to not kill, 